Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pixel Gamers. Today we are back playing some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we are still in Lookout Landing. I actually did a little bit of exploring, just regaining my health, buying some stuff and all that. So now we're ready to talk to Pura and I'm hoping today we can at least go to Kakariko Village. Um, anyways, hi Pura. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Huh? That should do it. Hey Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Pull the lever, Joshua! Wrong lever! Oh! And you did that, why? All of the Skyview's house have now been activated! Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Go ahead and put the pure pad over the terminal. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every sheet, uh, Skyview Tower and you add to your pure pad. Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are about more than just quick traveling. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put it, to make a map. The Pyropad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Pretty great, right? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. Takes a lot of skill, and nobody had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out yet. We needed you. Which brings us... To this! A paraglider! This, uh, this item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. What happened to our original paraglider? Right, it's showtime! Let's start with the test scan. Now it's time for our very first test lot. I mean, our very first test. Just step over there into the circle and lo and find me afterwards, alright? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wrecked them the most havoc. Best of luck! Okay, so just walk on here and then that'll be it for a test scan. I think this is more than a scan. I'm literally going into the Sky Islands.
I don't know how you can see all that because I can't even see it. <laughs> Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Okay, before we can pull out our paraglider too early, Dynamo! Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Ha! It's been a while since I can do that. Welcome back! That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did are you that? So, how did you get a proper map scan? Good. The map is crucial to our research. There are. <coughs> Excuse me, I burped. Towers in every region in the world. You'll want... <clears throat> Sorry, I burped again. To make a point of visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. Air blah blah blah, phenomena, blah blah blah, look at your map. First report comes from Heba in the northwest. Next, Elden in the northeast, Gerudo in the southwest, and Nehru in the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. I can't say for certain, but I've got a nagging suspicion we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village in Heba recently. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget a link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us search in for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more than about what's going on than the going uh huh. Phantom entrance in Rito Village. Edit time Okay. Direct I'll be here directing a variety of investigation to upheavals, many chasms and new ruins. I'll be also looking into different villages, blah blah blah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link, or find Princess one way or another. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I can't talk right now. There's something I got to discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. So let's talk later. Who's Goggles? I don't know. Okay, anyways. So, oh, hi, who are you? Well, look at that, uh, you're the one I saw flying around in the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower, a real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link, you say? Hold on there, really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy, you've got the same name as a famous swordsman. Ha, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn. By the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work our newspaper short on staff, so I have to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. You seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Our newspaper is based in Hebrew to the northwest. Well, you'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper, biz. Until then, so long. 
Yeah, I have a bunch of spit in my mouth after doing that voice. <laughs> okay, so it looks like they made me want to... Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry about that. So, it... We may, it looks like they're trying to get us mainly to go to retail village first. Um, regional phenomena, okay. So, I don't know, like, since it's open world, we can go anywhere we want, so why not go to Kakariko village? This looks like the closest, um, sky view tower to Kakariko, so let's just... Right there. Oh, it's actually very close. Okay, so I'll just go down here. Before that, I do want to check out the... Oops, not that. Uh... Oh, I can't put a pin... Okay, so... Yeah, first I just want to head straight south and go check that out first. Why am I going to walk? Let us launch! Wow, this is so convenient. Okay, um... Let's actually go down a little bit. Um, I want to check out that thing first, then hopefully make way to... Okay, I, did, I didn't need to launch up here. And I probably shouldn't launch until I get more stamina, so... Stamina, I mean. So let's just do this. So this is the gloom, apparently. Bunch of birds flocking around. Oh, that is actually kind of trippy. And very scary. Okay, um. Discovery, Hyrule Fields Chasm. Okay, first things first, let's open the shrine. Because that's one. Geosyn Shrine. Shape rotation, so it looks like I'm going to be using Ultra Hand for this. Now, what do I do in here? Oh. Supposed to bring this out, which means I just need to do that. And here. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know I'm amazing. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, and looking at the map, I just realized, like, the first place we fell after the Sky Island was the bottomless pit. Well, not bottomless pit, but the bottomless bog. Like, it was more bog than anything. Oh, yep. Yeah, I, I was gonna... S Uh, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm, hmm. Okay. So, notice yourself. Don't touch the glue. I mean, I knew that, but still. Hey, buddy, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. For one thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai survey team. If even one researcher had to stop Joshua, who's hard at work on plans over at looking, Lookout Landing, would cry. Chasm investigation. 
Um, you know, the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. The there are lots of them. Just like one uh, just like this one, all over the world. You can't see the bottom. They're so deep, so filled with mystery. Uh I already know who Joshua is, but I might as well just let them land. Okay, sheesh. Oh, I can't take it. I want... Yeah. Okay, so that was basically pointless. <laughs> eh, at least it got me closer to where I wanted to go. Okay, um... Actually, I got that hasty elixir, so at least it won't be too long, maybe? Um, yeah, none of these is really gonna help. Okay. So, I will see you when I make it to, if not the tower, at least the stable. What is this? <sighs> that scared me so much. Honestly, like a how? Okay, it's been too long. <sighs> that uh, that scared me so much. I want one of these the um sturdy pubs though. Yeah. <sighs> That was horrifying. Okay. Okay. Back to the town. And we are back. Um, I didn't make it to the tower, but I am at a stable, which means if I get a horse, I can register it. So I'm going to do the shrine and then, I don't know, probably eat. Eh. Yeah, probably continue to the tower over in that direction. Building with logs. Okay, looks like I'm using Ultra Hand for this one. Let's see. This. So what? Uh, do I just. Nope. Oh, wait. Duh. There you go. Vertical. Then it says building with logs, so I'm going to assume we need to bring this back. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, um, I think I should just swim the rest of the way there since I'm able to swim. But that was fun. And also, like, if you had enough, um, like, whatever it's called, oh, <laughs> um, enough stan stamina, wouldn't you just be able to just swim across all the way? So it looks like the rest of this know. episode is just me messing around. Da, da, it, this one was a shorter one, but it was a okay, fun one. Like Thank you all Thank for watching you. and goodbye.